Hello, and welcome back to this Trails in the Sky second chapter Let's Play with me, SLJ RPG. In the last episode, we made it to the heart of Mistworld and fought against the fog spirits that appeared near the gospel, near the main tree. But after this fight, we have been transported here to the house in some sort of illusion. So I think without any further ado, let's see what's happening. Dad? Ah, Estelle. What's wrong? You're up early. Huh? I see now. You want to spend some time with your papa who's been gone for so long, huh? Alright, leap into papa's arms, Estelle. He's ready. Don't treat me like I'm four years old, Dad. Aren't you busy with your army work? How'd you sneak away for time off? I mean, come on, at least tell me ahead of time. We could have matched schedule. Oh dear. This energetic so early. Oh shit. Lena. I think I woke up still up with my luck chopping. We're just getting some quality father-daughter time in. Oh really? Estelle seems to be less infused than you though. Don't nag her too much or she'll get annoyed. Never. Estelle? You don't hate Papa, do you? No, I'm not home much because of work, but uh, remember Estelle, Papa loves you more than anything. Wait, wait, uh, that's right. I think she's a bit shy because she hasn't seen you in so long, dear. Isn't that right, Estelle? That is, is that? Mom? Why? What's this all of a sudden? Did you forget Mama's face? It's... It's really Mama. Mama? Hmm? Mama! Ooh. Oh, goodness, Estelle, what is it? Did you have a bad dream? Um, I don't remember much of it, but, but you were gone. You can come home and I was sad and... This is all dangerous. Haha. <laughs> well, don't you worry. Mama's right here. And I'm not going anywhere either, I promise. So just relax, all right, sweetie? Okay. Um, Papa's seeing a little lonely over here, you know. <laughs> Darling, you're still there. An axe to my heart, Lena. Come on, just joking. Here. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Get him. Oh, God. An excellent tackle. Right, stay, Papa. will play any game you want, Estelle. Really? Cassius Bright never goes back in his word. I'll play anything you want, even house. Well, I want to go fishing. Well, that's my daughter, an excellent choice. Although, most people think of fishing as a man's hobby. You sure don't know you don't want to play house? No, I want to go fishing. <laughs> Do you think that's alright, Lena? It'll be fine, darling. There's plenty of way other ways to be feminine. Though, unless your brave fishers want to go fishing for breakfast. Good idea. Breakfast? Yeah, yeah. I'm really hungry. I want to eat soon, so I'll be a girl and help. Well, let's go put some coffee on. Thank you, you two. But first, Estelle, remember to wash your hands. COVID-19. Um... This is weird as fuck. Those were happy days. Unless this is just a memory. Mornings spent together as a family, whole and compete. Play among the trees and fields, watched by over by loving parents. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> it's all too nice. <laughs> Helping with those chores, only when you wanted to though. And at night, falling asleep, embraced by a mother's warmth. Days of happiness, with no sight of knowledge of sadness or loneliness was the closest one could come to bliss. Well, it's about time I head out. Estelle, I'll be back to play in spring, okay? Okay. You just come by and play now. You're going home already. Can you stay another day, Shara? Well, I'd really love to, but everyone at the circus is waiting for me too. Aw, oh, who cares about that? Now, now, Estelle, don't be selfish. Shara, thank you for coming over. You always go out of your way for Estelle's sake. It's okay, I love playing with her too. Besides, Mr. Bright, Mrs. Bright, your cooking is amazing. Well, I can't ever miss that. Don't flatter me too much. Come by and play whenever you want, Shira. I'll treat you to some of my special reserve brandy next time. Really? Sweet. Darling? It was a joke. <laughs> don't take Cassius up on that offer. I don't care how much you want to try it. It's, you're only 12. Maybe you can have a sip or two, but absolutely nothing serious until you're an adult. But, <laughs> Shira... Totally, just wait until I'm older. Like, totally. I wish I had someone to let me try a little, though. 
Mr. Harvey and Lucy won't let me have any either. It's a good thing, trust me. Anyway, do give our regards to everyone at the circus. Invite Mr. Harvey and everyone else next time too, if you wish. Her name, second name is Harvey too. Maybe there's something. I'll happy host a barbecue in the garden. Well, I shall tell them. Goodbye, Estelle. Be good. I will. Bye, Shira. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it does feel lonelier somehow whenever she leaves. She did say she'll be returning in the spring. I do have some time off around then, so I'll have to make it a big party. That would be perfect. Daddy, mommy, I want a sibling. <laughs> a what? Oh well, um, I mean, I only get to play with Shira sometimes, so I want a sibling I can always play with. You want um? That's quite a request, Estelle. How do I uh? <laughs> so you want a little brother or sister, sweetie? Well, you know, this one thing we can't prom we can't promise to give you. It's up to Adios when people are born. Really? Yes. So when the goddess decides to give parents a child, she sends a beautiful bird from the clouds carrying the baby. And often late at night, the bird delivers the baby to the mama and papa. Oh, I get it. I'll pray really hard to the goddess then. Well, that might help too. But perhaps, if you're a very good girl, Estelle, the goddess will send us one as a reward. I'll be the goodest girl ever then. You're amazing at this as always. Darling, don't act like you have no part. You'll have some hard work to do after all. Yes, indeed. Well, we could get to work right now if you want. Perhaps later. Right now, we can get dinner ready. Uh, right. <laughs> huh? We'll be in the kitchen. You two are going to be up, okay? What indeed. Want to go fishing with Papa? Okay. I just want to play around here for a bit. <gasps> well, I suppose I can catch up on a few things in my office. Poor thing, to be shut down by both women in his life. Be careful where you play, alright? Don't play near the pond when you're alone. Okay. A sibling, huh? That's funny, my heart feels kind of weird. It's like I forgot something. Gotta find it. Hmm. <laughs> I should go without an adult. Better go home before she scolds me. Huh? What's this room? Um. I don't know. Maybe I should ask Daddy. We need to try and remember, remember Josh. Daddy, what's in the room on the second floor? The one in the bedroom? Storage. Storage? It's a place where you keep things you don't mind most, like a toy chest, but bigger. We haven't been there since how long? It must be covered in dust and cobwebs. Oh, where's the key to it? It's... Wait, are you going to do it there? I want to go exploring. Well, I suppose it can't hurt. Mama keeps the key to it. Go and ask her for it. Okay. Hmm... But she's disappeared. Let's see. This should be the last of the onions, and now there you are. It was still trying to sneak up a bit of food. No, I got a question. Oh, you want to explore storage room? It's a little dusty. It's very dirty. Hmm. Well, all right. You know, a small set of drawers near Mama's bed, right? The key's in the top of my drawer. Thanks, Mom. We got the storage room key. Remember Josh. This room has lots of stuff, but... This is weird. Why does my heart feel funny? Harmonica. It's pretty. This is a magic blow thing, right? I'm gonna try playing it. 
I've heard this before. This feels like the obvious place to do it. I can't play it at all. This harmonic thing is hard. It seems like it should be easy, but it's way too hard. Compared to what it takes to use a staff, I think a harmonica is much easier. It's really just a matter of concentration. Huh? Overall, though, it's a great song. Cheerful, yet somehow wistful. I like her other songs, too, of course, but this one's my favorite. What's it called again? Huh? I was... The Power of Harmonica. <laughs> no, that's not it. It goes like this. <clears throat> so I'm guessing the sleep presents everyone with their ideal scenario and it's up to them to like break out of it that's what I'm thinking that's a that's a cool ass move it's very I like that good good depth trials Good depth to cool thing. Joshua, the whereabouts of light. I finally played it. It's such a lovely song. Mom, well, I'm not really your mother. I'm a phantom, I suppose. The memory of Lena Bright you once knew. As I suspected, you'd already realized that everything that's happened until now has been a dream. I kind of figured, even if it is a dream though, you're still my mom. That maybe is the happiest time of my life. A lot of people feel that way about their childhood, Sistel. Even so, you're going, aren't you? Yeah. There's people waiting for me. It's something really important to do, so, uh, I see. Joshua. He sounds like quite a handsome young man. Oh, Mom. Look at you. A bit red, sweetie. It's funny. I'm not truly Lena, and yet I feel peaceful. My little Estelle is all grown up and strong. She's even found true love. As a mother, I can be happier. Mom, I... Now, now, don't make that face. Don't you remember you have something you need to do? This is the end of the dream. The way back to the waking world. Now, go with your head held high. Yeah. I kind of want to eat your omelet again before the end, though. Really? If you want to have it, you should try making it yourself. Your omelet will probably be just as good as mine, if not better. What do you? Everything you are. As a parent, your skills, your dreams, your hopes of the future, you pass down to your children, knowingly or not. Even if there's never a chance to teach them directly, everything you do, every thought and word, they carry with them as long as they live. You carry with me with you, Estelle. Omelet and all. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I guess I do. I'll be going. Give my regards to your father and to Josh. I will. Goodbye. Goodbye, my darling. Wake up! Huh? Shira? Estelle? Thank God yes, you woke up. Yeah, it was like a really long dream. Now I get it. It's because of this. Guys, happy dream time is over. Come back to reality. Estelle? No. Estelle? It was all kind of a dream. I see. Thank goodness. You surprise me sometimes, Estelle. Not only did you work up on your own, but you work up the others as well. Now with this, with that settled. You're there, aren't you? Show yourself, Lakoila. What? You called for me at last. What? I knew it. It's been a very, very long time, Shehazad. I like this character design already. Eight years or now, hmm? About that, yes. To think I would ever be responsible for some- that you would ever be responsible for something like this. What are you doing, Luchi? Wait, hold on. You know this person? Why, Estelle? That hurts. Have you forgotten me so quickly? What in the world do you mean? The nice lady who showed you all those wonderful tarot card games and read your fortune. You don't remember? Huh? She's there in the back. But she was... 
You're Miss Loki? Well, that is who I was once. But now my purpose is different. I am in force number six through the Grand Master of Orboros, the Cola, the Bewitching Bell. Why? I would imagine Shira has figured it out, yes? Illusion Massacre using a bell, your speciality, Luchi. Hope you don't try and tell me the fog all over all that is an illusion, however. Of course not. That phenomenon was caused by the Gospel. It worked well as a catalyst of sorts to interfere with dreams. A cata. Are you saying the Gospel can affect the human mind? It seems it can. Epic music, guys. My bell was little more than a guiding hand. The Gospel, the fog, the illusions, the bells together. Create a dream so real that illusions cannot compare. A simple happy dream, brief of suffering and loneliness, a dream you wish was real. But that's... Hey, Enforcer, why is the society doing all of this? Why you have any game with these bizarre experiments? I am but a servant, Estelle, the striking hand of the Grandmaster in Angius. In truth, I have little more than a catalyst for this experiment. You shall not ask the Professor or allow for details. Professor Lau, I've heard these names again and again, but who are they? You will see when the time comes, which Mao may not be far off now. It is ironic, though. You've met them both before. What? May I say one thing? Oh, of course. I didn't intend to stay in Liberal. I was simply looking for a place to run away to, really, until you came back. But now it's been eight years. I have friends, companions, people I consider a family. A job I'm proud of. I'm no longer the dancing girl Shira of the Har Harvey troupe. I'm Shirazad Harvey, the bracer. Shira? Hmm. <laughs> to this new home of mine? I will not allow anyone to harm it. Not even you. Good. Your spirit is as strong as ever, Shirazad. The power of the society grows enormous. Even more so with the power of the Gospels. If you wish to oppose us, you will need everything you have. Ah. Lushi. Don't fret, we shall meet again, and soon. Perhaps then we will fill the long gaps between those lost years. Mm. Shira! How maddening. She's gotten away, and we've put an end to the trouble. Those slumbering should awaken soon. See, what a mess this was. I'm sorry. I should have spoken to everyone about my suspicions sooner. It's not a problem, Shira. Even if we had known the acquaintance of yours, you wouldn't like it would have helped. You pay for my drinks next time, we'll call it even. You got it. Um, given the way you two drink, I'm not sure that's the best promise to make, Shira. <sighs> the fog has cleared and everyone sleep has woken. Great work. You actually created full jobs on this one, so let me pay them all right now. We got a plus six there. We got a death pool, quotes as a pack. Which is good. Gospel can mess with people's minds. It's like pure orbital fiction as far as most people are concerned, right? That's one of the hardest things to explain so far. I think I need to call Grandpa or send him a letter. We'll leave away. All we can do is wait for Gramps to finish picking apart the gospel he's got a hand on. More to point, I think society's really starting to tip their hand. As in seen this event, we know our five enforcers. Yes. Number ten, Bablanc. Walter the Direwolf, Rene the Angel of Slaughter, Lucola the Bewitching Bell, Campanella the Fool. In addition to the five, we've also heard two names repeatedly, Professor and Lau. Seems likely one of those two is the man we know as Lieutenant Lawrence. Seems about right, and Lucola said we know both of them. It's very possible Lawrence Belgar was false or stolen identity. What gets me is this whole mess it's supposed to be the work of seven people. It's just the craziest damn thing I've ever heard. Seven people did all this. It seems incredible, but I'm perfectly willing to believe it. We need to be prepared for anything, even more so than before. Shira, are you sure you want I mean? Honey, didn't you hear me earlier? Liberal is my home. You don't need a special reason to protect your homeland, even if it means fighting a memory from your old home. 
Shira. Just keep that in mind, Shazad. It doesn't have to end that way for you, you know. Huh? What and I accepted that a long time ago is that it has to end in a battle between us. It's the only way we have to say anything to each other is with our fists. But I'd notice not necessary for you and Miss Lucy, you know. Well, I think Zen has a point. You still got a lot of time to figure out what you want to do. I think I know what I want to do myself. What? Hey everyone. I realize it's kinda late, but it's something I need to show you all. Huh? Still? Are you? Yes, it's time. I got this photo from Nal and Dorothy a while back. This is... What's that thing got to do with the Banisher? Banisher got retaken. I see, that's how it played out then. I recognize the girl on the left, she's one of the Kapua tournament. On the right. What? Josh? Hmm. I kept quiet about this until now. It's kind of a shock, so I couldn't come out and say it. Estelle. I don't know what Joshua thinks he's doing, but I think he's trying in his own way to fight the society. I don't think he's joined the Kapoos to do bad things, but he's still well. We understand. Besides, his lower face is covered in this photo, so I certainly can't say for sure this is Joshua Bride. No, sir. We'll keep this internal. Thanks, Zaina. Estelle, are you sure? You finally found a clue about Joshua. I'm sure. My connection to Josh isn't going anywhere, not as long as I remain to myself, you know? Now that I think of it that way, I'm going crazy over it. We're walking down different paths, and our distance our destinations are the same. So I'm going to keep going on my own way for now. And if I don't, I'll never become the kind of person I need to become. Estelle. Well, despite acting cool, I gotta admit, I really want to just know what's going on between Joshua and Miss Tom by there. But I've still got a long way to go, I guess. Oh, Estelle. Looks like you've really made up your mind. Your dreams in the forest must have been something else and... Yeah. Give me a chance to remember my bond. I remember my mother's warmth. I guess I can actually be thankful to the gospel this time. I guess so. I'll take a train to stop you at this point, I swear. Even the gospels can't stand before our stand. Inspiring. <laughs> As this is the end of chapter 4. And I'm gonna say... If you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on Trails in the Sky, second chapter. Peace.